Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Hope, and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So about a month ago, I shaved off all of my hair and I decided to go on a growth journey. Of course, I decided to document my journey and I decided to label it my grow with me journey. For at least a year, I'm definitely going to be growing out my hair and taking you along on the journey with me. But this is my one month update and guys, my hair is just growing and flourishing and I couldn't be more excited about it. So if you're new here and you want to follow my journey or if you just like fell behind somehow, make sure that you watch my head shave video from one month ago as well as my one week grow with me update so that you're all caught up so you can watch the journey. As I said, this is my one month grow with me update and I'm so excited to basically just show you guys all the growth that's happening and things that I've been doing over this past month to grow my hair, yes, but also to deal with some thinning that I had going on in my crown and if you haven't watched that video, I I will talk to you about how I was struggling with thinning hair and baldness and how I've been addressing that. I'm going to include all that information in this video right here. So before I shaved my head, I released a video which literally just said I'm going bald and I showed you guys the balding and thinning I had at the crown of my head in that video. Um, and also really made it clear that I prefer natural remedies over anything else like natural remedies are awesome I feel like a lot of the times they're more effective so many of you Commented on that video saying that you've been through similar things or that you're currently going through similar things And I was literally just so overwhelmed by the outpouring of love in my comments on that video Like a lot of you guys were like go see a doctor right now And then a lot of you guys also Suggested just vitamins and things that could help and I did a lot of research about pretty much everything I possibly could find on Google and I decided that I was gonna stick to my guns and stick with a natural remedy first. And if that didn't work out, then I would go to the doctor. So for the past month, I have been using a growth oil. And that growth oil is actually sitting right here in the video. So this is a homemade growth oil that I mixed up together. And there are a lot of great oils in here, carrier oils, there's jojoba oil in here, there's also black seed oil in here, there's also Jamaican black castor oil, and there's an amazing mix of essential oils. They're all amazing essential oils that either stimulate hair growth, strengthen your hair strands, they also help with frizz, like it's just a wonderful blend that based upon my own personal research, I learned was going to basically help my hair to grow back where it was balding and thinning and just thicken everything up. So I decided to mix this for myself and I've been using this um, twice a day actually, every day for the past month and the results guys have been amazing like so good probably um, better than I initially expected because with anything you just never know like you could try something and especially with natural remedies it always takes a couple weeks for it to kick in and I'm like I could technically use this for four weeks religiously and see nothing at all but you know I've used it for the past month and saw results within the first three weeks which was amazing so some of the essential oils I have in there are things like rosemary essential oil peppermint essential oil there is some clary sage essential oil there's atlas cedar wood essential oil and I perfectly measured out exactly how much I wanted of each oil whether it be the carrier oil or the essential oil so that I could basically have the most potent blend possible um, potent and effective blend possible so aside from seeing major growth and amazing results in terms of the thinning and balding that I had at the crown of my head one result that was completely unexpected but wholeheartedly welcome was it it completely eliminated my dandruff guys like I was dealing with dry scalp which I typically do in the winter and it was just like bad like it was real bad and now I have absolutely no dandruff so now I know that it not only helps with hair growth but it also eliminates dandruff with daily use in a span of a month which I think is awesome and of course like as I said it's a natural remedy I'm always here for natural remedies and to know that like you know within the span of a month this completely eliminated all my dry scalp issues like is a huge blessing and that's largely due to the fact that a lot of the essential oils and even the carrier oils that I put in my mix have a lot of antifungal antibacterial anti-inflammatory properties that would do exactly that they would address any type of skin issues that I have going on on my scalp so that's been like 
amazing as well. And because this growth oil works so well for myself and that so many of you have been on my channel commenting about how you've had issues with growing back your edges or you've been dealing with similar issues of thinning and balding as well, I thought you all could benefit from this growth oil too. So I've decided to put this up for sale on my brand new Etsy shop. I have it on there as a hair growth and dry scalp serum that I'm putting on sale. Right now I'm doing a soft opening. So it's on sale 25% off during the whole entire month of January. Now it is a soft opening and it's just for me to gauge what the demand will look like because it is going to be me making it. It's going to be in small batches. And so I just basically want to be able to see how many people are interested in the first place so that I can plan my months ahead according to how many people purchase right now during this soft opening. So if you're interested in buying this growth oil and trying it for yourself, definitely definitely go to my Etsy shop I am branded as Mia Hope and company where I will be selling this growth oil and guys I'm so excited I've always wanted to sell just like handcrafted items on Etsy whether it be paintings or things like beauty products and I'm finally doing it this year 2018 is like a huge year for me of like doing all those things that I said I was gonna do and then just kept systematically putting it off. So definitely support small business, support black business, support my business. And if this is a product that you'd be interested in having, whether it be to just maintain a healthy scalp or to thicken up your hair, whatever the situation may be, make sure you buy it. The link again will be in my description box. I also made an Instagram page for Nia Hope and Company. It's just at Nia Hope Co. And you could follow that for updates and also for future products that I'll be putting out this year. One important piece of information is that during the soft opening, I'm basically gathering all of the information, all those analytics that I will need to use for my business going forward. So anything purchased on sale now, 25% off, will not be shipped until February 1st. So basically right now you could buy it at the reduced price, but don't expect it to be shipped until February 1st. After that date, it will go back to regular pricing and then at also regular shipping. So just keep that in mind as well. Now I already put some of this growth oil in my hair for the day, but I wanted to show you guys exactly how I use it and what it looks like as well. So basically before using it, I always just give it a light gentle shake and then I'm able to squeeze this and get some of the oil right there in the dropper. And then I literally just apply it exactly to the point on my scalp where I was dealing with the, um, oh gosh, I just put too much in. I already have some of this oil on my hair. But anyway, I literally just drop it on that space and I massage it for at least like two, three minutes into that spot. And then whatever I have extra still, I kind of just like blend it into the front of my hair, which is just naturally thinner and could use some thickening. So um, that's where I blend it in. And I also blend the last bit of residue into the back of my head and on the edges around the nape of my neck as well. So since I am officially at one month, I feel like this is a good time to really, really dig into setting a hair care regimen for myself. Now, I recently put out three videos about hair porosity. One was just about different types of hair porosity. I talked about low porosity, normal porosity, and high porosity. And then I put out two videos detailing in one, the top five DIY treatments for low porosity hair. And then I also put out another video detailing the top five DIY treatments for high porosity hair. Now, the last time I actually did a hair porosity test was like a long, long time ago. And mind you, during the time, like my hair had um, been subjected to heat and things like that. Whereas right now my hair is completely virgin hair, has been untampered with, there's no dye, has, hasn't been subjected to heat at all. So what I'm thinking about doing is making another video where I actually test my hair porosity on camera for you guys. If you guys wanna see that, make sure you drop a comment. If you guys don't really wanna see it, I guess I'll just test it on my own off camera and then I'll figure out my hair porosity that way and then just build my hair care regimen based upon whatever my virgin, untouched, you know, natural hair porosity is. Um, because I definitely want to do things weekly and monthly because I'm going on a growth journey and I wanna promote the health of my hair as much as possible this year 
hair in a way that I haven't had to do in the past several years, just having short natural hair. Like, of course, um, maintaining a shortcut, I've had to keep it moisturized and things like that. But my goal wasn't necessarily to keep it healthy in the sense that, like, I knew that basically every month I was just going to cut it off anyway. So there wasn't that much of an emphasis on maintaining my hair health. Whereas on this growth journey, there will be an emphasis on maintaining my hair health. So I definitely want to do things that will benefit me and my hair porosity. I'm also excited because I think by the time I hit two months, my hair will be long enough for me to start styling. I might even sort of kind of be able to do it now. I'm going to test some things out first, but I definitely know by two months I should have enough length where I'll be able to start doing styling videos again and especially for those of you who are growing your hair out as well and just did a I've gotten a lot of comments like I just shaved my hair in November or December so you're basically on this growth journey with me so I can basically show you how to have fun while you're growing your hair out and while it's still super super short so I'm excited for that as well so that will be coming up so make sure you like stay tuned and keep watching my channel so you see those videos as well so yeah I just want to quickly show you a close what my hair is looking like right now as well as I'm just going to insert in um, this clip of when I first shaved my head so that you can see exactly how much growth has happened in the course of one short month. Obviously a lot of growth happens very very quickly um, and it's pretty pretty obvious here as you can see on the screen. Alright so this is the end of my one month grow with me update. I'm so excited to be here bearing really really great news for you guys about how my hair is just flourishing right now and I couldn't be happier. Make sure that you stay tuned so that you don't miss my two month update next month. Thank you so so much for watching. If you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.